pizza, a lot of empty carbs. I gained some weight that I lost back. Everything that you took it to hide comes back. Those cravings, everything. Three women sharing their stories about life on Ozempic. Shea Murray is a single mom and type 2 diabetic. Ebony Wiggins also has diabetes. And Danielle Baker, who was prescribed the drug to lose weight, even though the company says it's not a weight loss drug. Two of the three women did lose some pounds, an outcome mentioned in the ads. Oh, up to 12 pounds. Part of that weight loss comes from the way Ozempic works. It mimics a hormone that makes you feel full longer, reduces food cravings, and suppresses your appetite. How did you feel about food when you were on Ozempic? Didn't even think of it. it. Looking at a bag of Doritos was kind of looking at a pair of socks. Shay says if she overate, she would feel nauseated, a side effect Ebony also had. No matter how little I seemed to eat in that sitting, I would get nauseous or I would throw it up. So I definitely ate less. I just didn't feel good. Even just drinking water would kind of upset my stomach and make me feel a little nauseous. While not everyone experiences side effects, Danielle says in addition to the daily nausea, she also felt constant headaches. The discomfort made her stop taking Ozempic after three months. She says she didn't expect what happened next. Everything came back full force, right? Like the, all the crazy cravings that I've struggled with for the sweets, the junk food. Felt like I was overcompensating. Danielle's weight didn't drop. She says she gained eight pounds while on Ozempic. And after stopping, her weight climbed 20 pounds. Shea says she hoped Ozempic would put her type 2 diabetes into remission. But after two and a half months, her insurance coverage changed and she lost access to the drug. What happened when you stopped taking Ozempic? For the first, I'd say, week and a half, you still had that numbness to food cravings. And then suddenly it was like your body woke up and discovered, hey, I like bread. <laughs> she says she has to fight the urge to eat and is working extra hard to control her weight and diabetes. Ozempic is, so is not like a magic pill. You still have to work at exercise and knowing your portion control. I was on Ozempic for about six months. Ebony experienced nausea and vomiting while on the drug, but together with diet and exercise, she lost 25 pounds. She stopped taking Ozempic because it became too hard to get. Her appetite also came roaring back. You could say that I appreciated eating a little too much. Endocrinologist Dr. Priya Jasonghani says these women experienced known Ozempic side effects. She says an abrupt end to any weight loss plan can have a rebound effect. And the best way to go about doing this is to make small and gradual changes that people can adhere to in the long term. Because the drug is not approved for weight loss, the makers of Ozempic tell NBC it wasn't studied for weight changes following discontinuation. And they say they don't promote, suggest, or encourage off-label use. Dr. Jason Ghani recommends a multi-layered approach to medicated weight loss. In addition to your prescription, talk to your doctor about including a nutritionist to help with meal planning, staying active and looping in a fitness expert, and consulting a mental health expert like a psychologist or psychiatrist. You are absolutely worth it. Invest in yourself and your physical, mental, and emotional health. Great advice. And if you are looking to lose weight, there are other drugs to talk to your doctor about, including Wagovi, Contrave, and Saxenda. Unlike Ozempic, those medicines are all currently FDA approved for weight loss. Wow. First of all, that's the first time I've heard what Ozempic feels like I because know. we just see everyone's losing weight and yay, yay. I didn't realize like the idea that food was repulsive to you. Um, how are the, these women are not on it. So how are they doing? Yeah, now? they're all off of it now, Hoda and Savannah. Um, and they're all doing a good job controlling their weight. They tell us Ebony actually got a new prescription for something called Manjaro, which is helping with her type two diabetes. That's actually starting to become in short supply in some areas Jeez. as well. Danielle got a uh, gastric sleeve surgery. So she's lost. 90 that pounds was the last over the girl. Last year. The yeah, yeah. Very mm -hmm. the last person who we spoke to. Mm -hmm. And Shay says she's trying to do it by eating healthier and, and uh, exercising, but it's difficult, especially when you work two and three jobs. You don't always have access to fresh food or exercise. Yeah. So it's a challenge. For sure it is. All right. And also just the coming back, the, the wanting to eat everything once you get off of it. Like, it's like your body wakes up, like that's you said. A, yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's really interesting. Okay. okay. Thank All right. you. Thank, Thank you. Vic. you. Yep.
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.